please lie on the floor and make yourself comfortable. And just begin to notice how you're lying on the floor. Have a sense of the pressure of the back of your head, the back of each of your shoulders, your ribs, your pelvis and your arms and your legs. Just feel how do you give your weight to the floor and allow the floor to fully support you. And this is the first of a sequence of lessons going in the direction of a classic Feldenkrais lesson called the pelvic clock. We won't get to the whole clock today, but we'll start it. So please bend your knees up one at a time. And if you were here last month, you might remember the new frog legs or baby legs way to bend your knees up. And just find a, a really secure place for your feet to be supported on the floor or your mat so that they're not wanting to fall inward or outward have a sense that they're not too close or too far from your hips and buttocks. And just very gently press both your feet down into the floor and release them. And each time you press and release, begin to notice, do you tend to initiate pressure with one foot a little teeny bit before the other foot? So we're going to begin to listen to some of your own natural asymmetries. Maybe you release one foot and leg before the other one. And begin to notice which part of your feet do you press through. Do you have more weight through your heels? Is there more weight through the balls of your feet or your toes? You notice a sort of falling inward to the inside arch of your foot or using the outer edge of your feet. Just notice what comes naturally to you. And then just pause for a moment. And then come back to the pressing and releasing of your feet and just try to use the whole of your foot. Can you press evenly through the heels and the ball of your foot? And notice as you press through your feet, something is translated, motion is translated through the legs, connecting the hips into the pelvis. And see if you can just allow your pelvis to be soft and roll back so that your low back comes a little closer to the floor as you press with your feet. And as you release the pressure, you feel a little curve in your low back coming away from the floor again. So essentially, you begin to notice that your pelvis is rolling. As you press, your pelvis rolls, I'm going to call it up pelvis rolls up, your low back comes closer to the floor, and as you release the pressure, the pelvis rolls down, bringing as much attention to how do you release the pressure and come back to a resting state as you attend to how do you apply the pressure and create the initial movement in your pelvis. Noticing also if you use your breath in any way to coordinate the movement. Do you tend to inhale as you press and roll your pelvis up and exhale as you release? 
Maybe you exhale as you press and inhale as you release. Maybe the breath and the movement are not coordinated at this time. No right way, no wrong way, just exploring and discovering. And then let that go and pause. You can either keep your knees bent or let them long. And in the pause, just listen for a moment. Since this is a class for people who experience pain pretty easily, and often people who've been in pain for a long time are accustomed to not really feeling, not really staying present to the sensations of the body because it's in some ways a, a strategy to get through the day to survive but in these lessons we really want to feel that you're not overdoing it that you're listening to respecting and responding to the needs of your body and then please bend your knees up again Return to the simple movement of pressing through both feet, using the whole of the sole of each foot, and feeling how that translates into movement in the pelvis, rolling up and down. So if you can imagine the center of your pelvis, where most of the weight is, is called your sacrum. Some people call it the sacred bone. There's an interesting history about that, but I'll save that for now. So you're rolling on your sacrum, and I want you to imagine that you're actually lying on a clock, not a digital clock, but a clock face, so that as you roll your pelvis up, pressing through your feet, you're actually rolling towards 12 o'clock. And as you release the pressure of your feet and the curve comes back in your low back and you feel the pressure shift downward along your sacrum towards your coccyx bone, that's six o'clock. So just use that image to roll back and forth between 12 o'clock and six o'clock, noticing how straight or direct is your line? Maybe between 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock there's a little arch towards 9 o'clock or a little curve towards 6 o'clock. Or maybe it's pretty straight until you get towards 12 o'clock and you deviate a little bit more towards 1 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Just see if you can notice gently and softly. And while you're attending to this movement, notice is your breath still easy? Is your jaw soft? Is your tongue free in your mouth? Just noticing if there's any extra unnecessary effort. And then again, just pause for a moment. And come back to the movement, pressing and releasing. And this time, just sensing up the whole of your spine as your pelvis rolls the softer your spine is, the more you'll feel how that movement translate up, translates up each of the vertebrae through the low back, the middle back, between the shoulder blades and up into the neck and the head. So notice what you can actually feel as far as actual movement 
And whatever you can't feel, just imagine. Imagine as you roll your pelvis up and down that from your feet all the way through the top of your head, movement and freedom is possible. Notice what happens in your shoulders. Does the pressure change as you roll up and down between 12 and 6? just let that go. You can leave your knees bent or let your legs long. Let everything go and take a rest. Not necessarily a physical rest, right? But it's a mental rest. So the brain and the nervous system can take in new information. Resting from the learning to attend to ourselves in this way. (coughs) And then again, please bend your knees. And I want you to, as we continue imagining lying on the clock face, imagine that nine o'clock is underneath your right hip and three o'clock is underneath your left hip. So just explore a little bit. How would you push through your feet, maybe one foot more than the other foot, to shift the weight of your pelvis over to nine o'clock? And do just nine o'clock and back to neutral a few times. How do you press through your feet? Notice if you're restricting your breath with a new kind of focus. Over to nine o'clock and rest several times. Notice if you change the pressure under your feet. Do you still use your whole foot? Or do you maybe start to use more the ball of your foot or your heel? And you might play with that a little bit. And then pause for a moment in the middle. And can you imagine first how you're going to find your way to increase the pressure under your pelvis to the left side over to three o'clock? when you have sort of a clear sense in your imagination of how you might do that, then go ahead and give it a try. Pressing through your feet, letting your pelvis roll a little bit leftward so the pressure shifts to three o'clock and then back to your resting neutral. always listening. If there's any pain or discomfort with this movement, do less or just imagine it. In Feldenkrais, we want the nervous system to learn that movement can be easy and light and free and doesn't have to keep reproducing old pain patterns. And then see if you can just go back and forth between nine o'clock and three o'clock, right and left, shifting across your pelvis from side to side. 
Notice if you tend to take your knees from left to right also and see if you can keep them mostly in the middle so that your pelvis is moving but your knees are generally staying directed towards the ceiling. three o'clock to nine o'clock. And then just let yourself rest and pause in the middle. And then one last time, pressing through your feet, letting your pelvis rock up and down from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, feeling or imagining the movement as far up your spine into your neck and head as is easy and available. And then just let your legs down, take a full rest. Just feel how your body is feeling now. Feel the pressure and the support of the weight of your head on the floor, the back of your right and left shoulders, your lower ribs, the back of your pelvis, your legs and arms, even beneath your heels. And then gradually roll yourselves onto your side, come up to sitting, find your way to standing, and eventually walking, staying in this thoughtful way of feeling and experiencing yourself so that when you stand up you can begin to notice what's changed and it might be very subtle it might be a sense of length or of lightness or of weight and groundedness we'll explore that together